What's up everybody? Today, we've got an interesting story where the husband comes home and the wife just wants to know why he's home so early. Weird. Let's get started. My 54-year-old male and wife, 55-year-old female, been married 31 years. We live on the West Coast. 20 years ago, my company moved our little family, three kids too, from the East Coast. Over the years, I've taken on more responsibility and I'm currently a VP of West Coast Operations. I latched on to the coattails of a man who became my mentor. When he was promoted to North America VP, I took a spot. He is now retiring. He has encouraged me to put my hat in the ring to replace him. If I get the position, it would mean moving back to the East Coast where we grew up. We are well established where we are. We are involved in the community through the charitable works of my company's foundation and our personal charities we work with. Our kids are grown now and scattered across the country. None live near us. Our weekends are usually full of events or traveling to see the kids' families. I discussed this with the wife. She has some issues with me getting the position. She's not sure she wants to uproot everything. The move would take us back to near our extended families. One of our kids would be about 200 miles away. This probably would be my last move up in the company because at my age and position now, there is nowhere else to go. We've discussed this and came to the conclusion to do the interviews as it won't hurt anything. My boss friend is pushing for me. I know many of the board members as some come to the charity events we participate in. I also know the upper management quite well because of the years I have been here. I have to emphasize here again. My wife is having a hard time with this. I understand completely how she feels. So I went to the interviews this week, flew back east to headquarters, interviews went well. Three other internal candidates, and they're looking outside the company also. I had to sell myself to them. They didn't try to sell the position to me. So I know that I am not a sure thing here. Talk to the wife each night. She started crying that she did not want to keep me from this promotion that we would talk when I got back. I know she was emotional because of the move, but this was out of the norm for her. The last interview was Thursday. I was staying and flying back on Friday. I caught a flight back on Thursday to see what was up. I walked in the door about 9 p.m., and she's on the couch with a guy, Sam, I know from some charity work. There's an empty wine bottle. I asked what's going on. She said Sam stopped over to talk about an upcoming event. Having a drink with a guest is not unusual when I am there. I take my back to the bedroom, but the bed is unmade. We always make the bed every morning. It's a habit of accomplishing something every day. Never miss. I walked back out and Sam was leaving. We say goodbye, then wife kisses me and asks why I'm home a day early. I walked past her to the kitchen, dishes on the table, pots on the stove, she made dinner. I asked, what is going on here? Oh, I was cooking, so I asked Sam to save her dinner. My wife will sell them if ever cook a full meal when I am gone. She asked again. Why are you home so early? She is really nervous and visibly shaking. I told her I knew she was upset with the potential move and wanted to talk with her. I then told her, I think you need to tell me what the hell is going on here. She starts crying hysterically and blubbering something I couldn't understand. Now she is a bit tipsy from the wine, but I can see she is sobering up quick. She says nothing is going on. Why do you say that? I'm usually pretty calm, but I lost it. It looks like you're screwing Sam. Do I have that right? She said to stop yelling and went to the bedroom and locked the door. So now it's Saturday. She only came out to grab something to eat while I was on the phone and ran back to the room. I have asked her to come out and talk. I promise not to yell. I know she is deflecting trying to come up with a reasonable explainable excuse. What else can I do? I need some clothes for sure. Took what I have on out of the laundry. I am praying there is a reasonable answer, but with her being locked up, I don't think so. My boss called me and said another round of interviews next week. I don't know whether to stay for the marriage or to continue the interviews. I already bailed on a dinner tonight since she won't answer me through the door. I really have no one to bounce this off of. My all the son and I are best buds, but I can't take this to him. 
Help me think straight. Before we get into the update, I just have to ask why if nothing is going on, would she be locking herself in the bedroom refusing to talk to her husband? Sounds like she might be preparing to get her shit in order for a divorce, whether initiated by her or op. If she is stonewalling, there are one of two options. She hopes op forgets and eventually stops asking or she knows it's over and is just trying to determine what lie to sell him or how to get out of divorce ASAP without having to admit anything. Anyways, let's get to the update. I just want to update what has transpired since the post yesterday. Shortly after I post on Saturday, I finally was able to get her to come out of the bedroom. She had me assure her that I would not yell. I said I just want to talk. So I went over everything I saw. Dan made bed, the dinner, the wine, Sam leaving right away, she asked what was wrong with any of it. She did not make the bed that day. She was trying out a new recipe, had wine with dinner, and finished it after. Probably drank too much. Sam is a long-time bachelor. Wife passed away seven years ago. He stays busy with some of the charities we work with. I just shook my head. I know what I was seeing. But she has an explanation for it all. I asked why she would not open the door. She started with she was afraid of me. She knows that I have never laid a hand on anyone since the eighth grade. It is not me. I would rather talk things out or separate until everyone cools down. The other reason was she was not ready to tell me something else we have known of the position opening since April. My boss presented to the board his plan to retire at the end of the year. They want the position filled by fourth quarter. Would be a time when the incoming VP would work alongside my boss. My boss has vacation time accumulated so that he won't be working much in December. He gave us the heads up shortly after notifying the board. The wife and I talked about it since then. She's expressed that she did not want to start life over again. She has a nice career. Her company does not have a branch back east. She would have the job hunt. I told her that she could just not work, but feels she would be unfulfilled. She really thinks I will get the promotion because of my boss. I told her over and over that it is not final until the board votes on a candidate. So she has decided that she would rather divorce than move. She just wasn't ready for me to come home early. She had not come up in her mind how to tell me. She knew it would crush me. We had a very solid marriage up to now. We do not put on a show for others since we are in the public so much. Sex is still good. Has diminished in frequency as we have aged. We both initiate. We were very much each other's best friend. She was right. I am crushed. I asked what was her plan if I don't get the job. Her answer was that everything stays the same then. I asked her if she was crazy. Did she think I would forget? Forgive? I called my lawyer. We are friends also. Me calling on the weekends is not an infringement into his personal time. After pleasantries, he listened to me until I mentioned potential divorce. He stopped me there. He said, I cannot represent you. The wife has already hired him. I asked if he knew someone else. He said he will send me a list of names from other firms. He told me he personally will not handle the divorce. You'll hand it over to another associate at the firm. I still have an uneasy feeling on what I saw, so I took a couple of commenter suggestions. I called Sam. I explained to him very calmly that the wife and I talked, and I want to hear from him. He gave me the same story word for word. Like it was rehearsed. Then I got hold of the wife's phone. It was scrubbed clean. Only messages from Saturday night and today. I guess I'm getting divorced anyways. Why should it matter? But it does. A few years ago, I was off work for a couple of months due to some medical issues. I had the company install an office in my home. I took one of the kids' old rooms and made a home office. I had a couple of the IT guys come over and get me set up. At the time, it was better than my office at work. I called one of the guys to ask if he can retrieve erased messages and call logs that were deleted from a Samsung S10. He said that it was easy. Google it. I asked him if he could walk me through it. So after a bit, we had most of our records restored. I searched the phone and found lots of calls to one number. I don't know who a few months ago. I found Sam's number lots of calls recently too. I checked the texts. 
Nothing overly sexual, but certainly not charity related. Lots of meetup plans. As I am finishing, the wife knocks on the door, and I locked myself in. She asked if I've seen her phone. I opened the door and said, yeah, I have it. I fixed it. She asked what I meant. I told her that I saw call logs and messages were deleted, so I restored them. Her mouth dropped open. She stuttered. Then came the obligatory. You went through a phone. She snatched the phone and stormed away. I called after, we need to talk some more. She went out the door and have not seen or heard from her all day. So, Monday, I need to call the lawyer. I've already been through bank records. No money has been moving around. I printed balances as of today. I now need to call my kids. I see that she had called each Saturday. I think the well has been poisoned. It is starting to set in. She is my life. My partner, now she'll be gone. I feel like when my parents died, how can I go to such a position without her by my side? I'm sorry to hear this okay. It is trouble she has already retained your friend in the door's proceedings though, and it's something that you can raise with your new lawyer as to any potential conflicts of interest. She has had this set up, though, from a start so that tells you where her mind is. You are on the way out the door and Sam was making his way in. Anyway, I think your path is set, and it looks like your marriage just died. At least you'll know that moving forward, you'll be on opposite sides of the country, so you won't have to have anything to do with her moving forward. Sorry, man. 